Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers ship review video, this time reviewing an all-vanilla, very well-built, almost artistic masterpiece of a ship. <clears throat> I saw this thing in the workshop preview, and uh, it, it earned its spot in the workshop preview. And without further ado, oh, let's get started. So what we have here is the AUC AG5 HF217 Enus. Enus, I believe, means sword bearer in Latin. Anyway, it is classified as a heavy frigate. Um, I go through all this. This is lore. If y'all want to look at it, go right ahead. Uh, the thing you need to know is this is a a very Halo-esque ship, at least in design. So those of you that know about Halo ships. They're designed with a few support weapons on the side and usually one big heavy Mac gun. And this ship, whew, it's got it's got all of that. So if you really want a really cool looking Halo-esque design ship, this is the ship for you. Uses, uh, from what I can tell, almost all the DLCs. It's amazing. Created by Severs, or Severs, I believe is his name. I think he's been on the channel before. Anyway, we're going to give this a like, and I'm going to give you guys an external tour of this behemoth of a big gun ship. Now, <clears throat> Severs has managed to do something that I have always had difficulty with, and that is creating external armor panels that look like they were just naturally put on it didn't look so geometrical in shape it, this ship actually obtains a rounded effect without attempting the rounded effect and does some pretty cool stuff with the blocks let me tell you there are ideas on this that i'm gonna have to grab a hold of number one we do have our main guns here we've got a couple of salt cannons and i think some artillery cannons as well got a few flare launchers i don't know what those look like if they do any anything at all. I don't think the flares do much of nothing. But looking at the ship, the one thing <coughs> I will say is this is a heavy frigate and it is not designed to go in there and stop missiles. This is designed to go in there with support and just brutally beat the crap out of anything that gets in front of it or gets in the path of any other ship that's there. This is This is your club. When when Freddie Ro when Teddy Roosevelt said, "Speak softly and carry a big stick," this is the big stick he was considering—a giant gun in space. Okay, you, you can get a lot of things done with a big giant gun in space. But going in here, let's look at a few features here that we have design-wise. Uh, we've got these—I believe this is the sci-fi panel. Let me check here just a moment to see if I can figure out which one this is. I believe this is the neon carbon lights part skin which is every so often I will see this in a build and I wish it was in more builds putting it in this nice space right here where everything is kind of inlet and dark makes it look like something that's really high tech like we got some really good you know really good stuff going on kind of like Terry McGinnis's bat suit in uh, Batman Beyond there's actually one where he saves a person and ends up really damaging the bat suit and rips like the outer layer of it off and we see all this red um, circuitry lines going through it. And this just kind of makes it look like it's more high. It's just a high-tech weapon system built wrapped in armor, almost. Like I said, you've got guns in all directions here. We've got lots of artillery guns, lots of assault cannons. This is not designed to go into a battle and, you know, shoot down missiles. This is, like I said, it's the big ship that takes down other big ships. That's when we get to the gun, because this gun is just chef's kiss it's it's probably the coolest part about this entire ship and i say coolest part i'm gonna say more of it when i get to the back this ship from just about every part of it has been very well thought out methodically and how it's going to look and feel uh it's a level of building that i can't achieve in space engineers so i will say this is a, a very cool vanilla ship if you guys want to take it re do some stuff to it as you see here, you've got armor panels that look like they should be on hinges around this gun, and they shouldn't, and they're not. But the cool part about this gun is this use of corrugated metal to create kind of a... How do I put this? A Gauss coil look 
to the ship and combining it with his blue light, which I think is the same. Yeah, it's that same carbon, a lighted carbon effect that we saw a minute ago. So this kind of gives an effect of this is a, a high tech gun with some industrialization around it. And when we get to the front of this, we see we've got a nice big gun barrel here. We've got four, four rail guns. That will just make somebody's day an absolute. It, it, you're going to ruin someone. And then inside here, all the way to the back, is our little camera, which I wish was protected by a few pieces of glass, but I'll, I'll take this any day of the week. But yes, get, going with the giant gun concept, about a third of this ship is dedicated to its main armament. I also got these nice panels. I'm wondering, <clears throat> these are the vent blocks. I'm wondering if these will change colors as you, <laughs> as you shoot it. But continuing on, let's check out the bottom here of this ship. We've got a little bit of thrust. Not as much as I would like to have. And we also have a slightly exposed. This ship does have to expose a lot of its components. Uh, there are a lot of things that have to be exposed because this is built, I believe, for someone's server. So if you're also wanting a ship that appears to not be pulling too much PCU, this might be the ship you want. Uh, I don't know what the tolerance is on the PCU limit is, but eh, well, I mean, that being said, really good looking ship all around. We get back here to this nice thruster bay, which is just, I'm sorry, I'm stealing this. <laughs> I am stealing this. I'm sorry, savers, but I'm stealing this and, and trying to improve on it and make a whole different deal. We got two more uh, artillery cannons on the back here just really bringing this whole ship together and making it just like I said, these armor panels here, S Severs has accomplished making armor panels look like they are on hinges and they are not so this thing is right here, you can just put it into the printer print the entire ship completely off and there's no external moving parts, there's no subgrids as far as I know on this ship, so Let's go in and look at the inside. And the inside is uh, kind of sparse and spartan, but it's you know, it works. We've got two docking collar clamps and a camera here to, so you can line up and get into position. Let's go over here and hop onto this. Drop down. Now, the doors are not automatic, but there are some programmable blocks in here. <clears throat> you can probably get to do that with. So here we are in the main, main room of the frigate. And so we got lots of lockers, lots of storage. I love these lockers because you can store all kinds of equipment in them. Um, and they're just, you know where this equipment is. You're not hunting through cargo crates trying to find all your stuff. It's just, it's just all right here. So this is just a great way to do it. Love the orange light in here with the green. Just amazing. We're going to turn those lights off so we can get the actual ambience in here. Just like, it's, it's like we're tactical and going into battle at this moment. Let's go ahead and close this door here. And let's go into the next room, which is this area. Now, this is really cool because you have <laughs> this ladder going up to, to crew quarters and everything. We'll, we'll be going up here first, but I, well, we'll just head up here. So, cool thing about this ladder, you simply have to climb up to the top of it, kick off. And from what I can tell, that is all that's there. I don't think there's anything else going on. But we have these window blocks here. Or something. We've got some kind of block here. In the middle. That has allowed us to, you know, get in. It's... I don't even know what this is. To be honest. Just a very interesting little block going on here that is just allowing us to move in. This may be the new... Thinking about it, this might be one of the new catwalk blocks that's being put in here. So that might be setting up in the middle here, and then that's what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, we've also got access to this room here. So going in, this is the captain's quarters. Very nice. You can see we've got our nice little results-oriented sciences. Time is precious, like our drones. Let our drones help you with life's boring tasks. Ooh. Let's check out some of these drones. Now right, we've got our nice little chair. We've got a, our own little station. Storage bathroom shower combo nice little bed use of the new bed blocks which also has its own storage which is a lot easier to reach than the older bed blocks really nice really nice really nice 
Heading over here, we have the armory. You can see we got all of these uh, storage for... <clears throat> these are those storage shelves that you use. You build them up and they've got all the stuff you need in them. And then we've got a couple of nice gun racks. A little table to work on. Another little workstation to work at. You finish all these pipes going on through here. Looking like there's some type of... Uh, a lot more going on in this ship than there probably really is. Moving on. Go over here to gravity control. And this is just some high-tech look at a room with the gravity controls and everything. I guess you can turn gravity off. Yeah, we can turn gravity off from here. Amazing. Awesome little deal. And now we're going to drop down here. And we're going to go on with the rest of this. The tour. So we've got this nice little bathroom shower combo here. Pretty good. Looking in here, you can just see this industrial look. Just take in this ambience right here. If you didn't know this was Space Engineers, you would be looking at this, and this is just kind of shows how far Space Engineers has come as a game. Right here. With Saver's use of the pipes, the angle blocks, to... And this is one thing I love about these angle blocks. You can create a limited corridor space, but you can, you can make it look a little bigger than what it really is. You can give it little nooks and crannies now. All these pipes look like you could walk in through here and just imagine some vicious alien with acidic blood crawling around the pipes waiting to kill you. <laughs> anyway, opening up this room, we have the new, and I'm going to turn my light on just for this, we have the new medical bay. And this one just sits in real nice and tight. I believe this is airtight in here, because it's not open to anywhere else in the ship. So, got the new uh, air vents and everything working. Just like I said, the ship is just an awesome combination of just crazy stuff. Severus, I am quite certain we have seen something of Severus's before, because I feel like I have I have done this much talking and exoneration to someone before. So here we have a basic, we have our, well, no, not a basic assembler. We have an industrial assembler here. And this is just a cool way of putting this little spot right here. Like I said, Severus, this is the thing, Severus just seems to know how to put stuff in. There are things he's done here that I have been trying to do for ever since these parts have come out, and I've never been able to achieve this type of an effect before. It is quite amazing. So over here we have a nice little kitchen area. Use of the new KitchenAid blocks. We've got our nice little sink here. Our little stove with our really cool knives. How come we have knives here, but we don't have like a melee knife in Space Engineers? I don't know. So we got our. Uh, Coca-Cola's, Klein Cola's in here. We've got our coffee maker. And the uh, cool part about this is it's got some decent amount of storage in certain areas. And we got two little chairs to work with. And we've got a connector right here. We can go in, connect the stuff. Look around. Let's see what we connected into. I'm not quite sure. But we have access to the ship. Continuing on, we are going into the main bedroom. This is the bunk room. Whatever you call it main barracks who knows but you can see here you can see if someone is coming into the ship you did not see this before let me show this a second time as we go around here and look you could not really notice this as you walked in it's all tinted in you probably wouldn't have noticed it and that's actually kind of cool because that gives the other crew members a bit of privacy, but they can still provide some sort of security. So someone's in here and they see an enemy come in. Hey, we already know they're in the we already know they're in the ship. Got about three beds here. Really nice. And what is this? What is this that I'm looking at here? Oh, it's an AI defensive combat block. Very cool. And you'll see there's a couple of these being used right here. Severus doesn't just use any old block. He puts almost every block in here that like is imaginable. We got an antenna block here. We got two more AI defensive blocks. Just amazing, amazing work. Do love the way he's done this sign. I have got to use those forward and <coughs> backward slashes in my next build. I, I have improved this, created an, a, a successor to the Sentinel, so we will be checking that out at some point in time as soon as I get it painted. Anyway, now we're going into the main engineering room. And, uh... Or not main engineering, this is the primary cockpit. Haven't flown this yet, but it looks just absolutely amazing. We've got buttons, we've got dials. 
Uh, we've got the best engineer systems here with all the buttons and gizmos and levers and switches and all that good stuff just to make it look like it's good. And we got all these nice details. We got these blocks that have all this good detail in here. Giving you a ship that, if you were to drop this into your own play, this is a ship that you would just be happy to play with. I mean, I, I, I could be happy with a ship here like this. I also have the new holographic thing going on. I forgot about these blocks, and I'm going to have to start using them now. So this is the new holographic thing that will project and create holographic projections and all that good stuff. The new angled blocks. I mean, this thing has just got everything going. So for right now, let's go ahead, hop in here, and see what the capabilities of this ship is. All right. So number one, we have our engines on our hydrogen engines. Number two is our ion, small ion thrusters. Well, it, it turns off all but one ion thruster. We've got that going. Number three is our jump drive. Number four is access to one of our cameras, which is nice. Uh, number five is access to, I believe, let me check here. This must be one of the side cameras. Yeah, these are the side cameras, so yeah, those are there. Your access to shoots 8 is... Oh, a Mayday Beacon. That? There's something I never thought I would need. A Mayday Beacon. Huh. We have number 9, which is our antenna. Turning it off, you want to go a little stealth. Number 1 is access to this bad boy. And then on top of that... Ooh, ooh, that just sounds so awesome right there <laughs> number four turns our artillery guns on and off number nine what does number nine do turns gravity on and off and that appears to be about it so let's uh let's head on back and just see what that looks like Charged up yet? About. I'm on. That's what I miss about weapon core. It should fire here in just a minute. Oh wait, there we go. Weapon's only 81% charged. All right, we just gotta wait just a minute. Here I'm being dumb. I'm like, oh, I wish I had weapon core, which would come up in the side of my screen and tell me, and I'm, I'm just not looking because it's on the left hand of the screen instead of right down here. I'm too used to weapon core. Oh, that looks amazing. Mmm, that just looks so awesome. And also, while we're looking at it, it doesn't appear some of the blocks haven't changed since we fired it. But it still looks amazing. Now, how fast is this baby? How fast do we go in this? And she's got some speed. She's got some speed. And after firing the... Uh... After firing off the railgun, we are pulling some energy. So you would probably want to turn off the main thrusters. <clears throat> Now she's got a fast turn rate, or a fast speed, but for a heavy cruiser, I mean, it's it's somewhat maneuverable for a heavy cruiser. You would not be expecting this thing to <coughs> go in and dogfight, but it does, t it does rotate very well. It's got a good rotation speed, so this is a nice ship. If you're wanting to take it in and just rotate it in, take some stuff out, just that massive gun on it just making the noise that it does yeah see that thing coming in there and get that one good lucky shot on one of your big ships and just absolutely wreck them with that thing oh that is just awesome anyway folks I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did uh, reviewing it but like I said this is the Enus Enus what is that again let me Go ahead and just pull that up so I can take a look at it. And this Enesis, I think is the name of it actually. 
Anyway, uh, it's the Innocent Heavy Frigate. Just an awesome little build going. Well, I say little. It's it's an amazing build. Let's see. Does it have a... Yeah, PCU is 18,701. So... I don't know. I don't think that's a bad PCU limit. I don't usually use PCU limits on my system. So, because I just, I just run it and go. Uh, usually I just play with the guys. So anyway, folks... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this monstrous ship. This absolutely amazing piece of art that we have right here from Severus. And Severus, thank you so much for making us an awesome little ship to play around with in our uh, survival campaigns and survival games. Um, <clears throat> as usual, I am Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. This ship will be in the comment section or in the description. So if you guys want to take a look at it, go, you know, take it, fly it, use it, print it off, and uh, just go nuts with it. Y'all have the ability to do that. Anyway, as I was saying, I am Badger Wild. Saying stay safe, stay frosty. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.